as far as the fall is concerned, we are working diligently to get ready for competition, uh, fall sports sometime in the spring. The uh, basketball program, we're hoping to get something started later on this year. But in the meantime, we're doing a lot of things to engage with our students and alumni uh, during this time period. When we look at our students on campus, I think there's around 10,000 students, so there's still activities that we need to be involved in. And we want to stay connected to our alumni by providing them updates uh, with our website and other methods that we use in the athletic department. So we're very busy, that's the bottom. It's not a vacation just because we don't have competition. So when we look at a primary focus for us this year and beyond, we are emphasizing one of our core values, which is inclusion. And within that context, we're addressing racism and social injustice. And I'm pleased to say that uh, working with the coaches and staff and other units on the campus, we're developing different uh, programs to be engaged. I'm the chair of the Big West Undivided committee, which is basically an equity, diversity, and inclusion a committee from a conference perspective. So I'm leading the charge on those continued conversations on racism and social injustice. What's really nice about that is the fact that we have 11 schools that pretty much cover the state of California. So the different projects that each of us are working on within the parameters of uh, social injustice will impact the entire state. The major focus right now is the voting initiative, and we as a conference have uh, talked about that, and, and I'm sure we're gonna have a major impact when it comes to voting on no November 3rd, uh, when we look at the Big West Conference as a whole. I want to thank the alumni again for the role that they played in helping us to move to Division I. There was a lot of support uh, from the alumni group. We've actually received some uh, major financial support since we made that announcement. So I just want to reach out to the alumni and tell them how, how much I appreciate their support and we're looking forward to being engaged with them more moving forward. And it'll be a lot easier to be engaged uh, when we look at the ESPN platform that we've developed within the athletic program, where, where we're moving from 60 contests and a planned 160 <laughs> contests on ESPN3, so that's another opportunity for the alumni to uh, stay engaged with us. So thank you, alumni, for your support.